Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about why I'm happy that Gunner Inning didn't come out. I'm happy that Gunner Inning didn't come out today because I think that Gunner Inning came out on the 13th. And I was, uh, but I was hoping that it, I was just telling you that it, it thought it would come out on the 13th. But I was saying so I'm happy. I'll go ahead and describe why I'm happy in a little bit. But right now I'm happy that it uh, didn't come out today because we have more time to grind the game. I was hoping that was going to be wrong though and come out today, but. I was, I might be right, but anyway, I was hoping that uh, we'd have more time to grind the game, though, and we do, so that makes me happy, and I, now we have more chance to get money and prepare for the update more, if we aren't already prepared. <clears throat> I think that whatever money-making method you have right now, you should uh, grind out for a, long, for a little bit, and if it's the MC business, you can do that glitch to make it go by faster, but honestly, I would rather do the uh, CEO stuff you know, the crates of the import export stuff because you get you get more opportunity to make more money and you can make more money quicker and um, I believe if you don't have it though you should buy the cheapest office with no upgrades like no accommodation safe gun locker any of that and um, you should <clears throat> maybe buy one garage but don't upgrade that either if you don't already have any office things at all pretty sure most people do but if you don't at all do that and also think that um, you should really focus on import export, even though it's more expensive to get into. Because at least you're gonna pay 1.5 million for it, but you're gonna have to pay 750 if you don't have an office at all already. So that's 220 thousand dollars, 250 thousand um, dollars. You have to pay. To start. You won't be able to make that back real quick. A uh, million, 200. 50,000, so you'll be able to make that back real quick. But uh, I had to use different gameplay because it got corrupted because I think my USB came up with my computer. But if you have the cheapest warehouse, there's a way that you can go where uh, once you go out, you make a, a right, then you make another right if you leave directly from the warehouse. You make a left and then a right. Then there, you're going to see this little like construction thing. There's going to be a wall around it and there's going to be opening. You want to go into that. Then buy this little uh, this big thing that old wires. You drive into that behind that, so your car doesn't get shot. You get behind that wall and you kill the four waves that uh, four waves of enemies that are trying to destroy it. And then you pick up their money, and then you get the car. You drive very cautiously to the uh, what you call it, to the drop off. But if you don't like the import export stuff, you may be making eighty grand. Oh. And then after that, you want to do a sightseer. And do a sightseer after that, and then you want to go back and do a top range view. But you want to make sure that your, your warehouse is full of um, the other range of vehicles so that you can only get top range. But right when you get it, you sell it. So, and if you don't have enough time, like if it's within a minute, I would wait. But if it's like three or four minutes, like two, three or four minutes, I believe that you should just go do a. Uh, if you have the buzzard doing a uh, headhunter, not headhunter. Uh, what you call it? What are they called? Hostile takeover. That'd be the best option for you if you have a couple minutes to spare. Uh, I would also recommend having super heavy body armor, having that stashed up and having snacks. But if you don't want to do that and you don't have any crate, like uh, special cargo things, what you're going to do is you're going to buy a small warehouse for it, the cheapest one, and then you're going to want to um, fill that up all the way. What you're going to have to do Three crates five times, and one time, if you're filled up all the way, you're going to do one time of, um, what you call it? One crate. Which, you're just paying uh, a lot of money, not too much, almost 100k. Um, and you should be doing a uh, sightseer after every one, except for the last delivery. Do a sightseer, or a headhunter, or a uh, hostile takeover. After all those... So you can make uh, at least a 2k profit from headhunter and sightseer. Uh, you might lose some money doing the headhunter. My headhunter. Um, also, I'll take over. Only because they don't pay you 20k at least like the other two do. If you have two or three friends, you can do Pacific Standard Heist over and over and over. But I do. I play solo most of the time, so that's why I was talking about those methods. Honestly, I would rather do the, uh, what you call it, 
import export stuff. But that's just me. Uh, if you do a small warehouse right now, you get 200 that. No, you get 240 when there's no bonus. I know when there's a bonus, you're going to be making 300 grand. There's no bonus on import export, and you're making 25% more on your biker stuff until the 12th. Well, until the 13th, which is when I think Gun Rank's coming out, so I might as well be focused on Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one, and bye. By the way, I think uh, I just did the math. I think it's 92k if you do your special vehicle warehouse. I just vehicle. Your special cargo warehouse, you fill that up all the way with a small. You do um, 16 crates. You're going to be spending 92k. I just did the math, and I wanted to add that in so that uh, everybody knew that maybe didn't think about that. Bitch, I party like